Hello everyone, in this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to use joints in Godot 4. To get started, I have these two nodes, which are just rigid bodies with a color rect and a collision shape. I made sure that their origin is on the end. I'm going to go ahead and quickly make a node 2D to hold all of our objects. Let's just call this links. Now we should line up our two nodes as best we can and drag them into links. Now let's go ahead and create a new node. It will be a pin joint 2D. It will need our node A and our node B. And now that's it. If we press play, it will connect them. We could better see this if we just freeze the first one. So if we go to its rigid body, press freeze, and we go ahead, press play, you'll see that they are connected. And you can add more links by simply adding a new link creating a new point, and we will connect this to two and three. Drag it down here, and if you press play, you see that they're all connected. For the data spring joint, I have made two squares with the origin at the center. Let's create a damped spring joint 2D. Let's connect it to our first square. Let's rotate it a little bit increase the length and now let's assign node a and node b let's make node b a little bit more centered on it and now if we press play you'll see that we swing around with a little bit of spring have you ever been on or seen a ride like this well if you have you might have a good idea of what the groove joint does for this we can simply create a groove joint 2d let's put this up to here let's set the length and we will have this slider type thing where we can set the initial offset. Let's set it to 50. And let's drag on our node B. Let's go over to that groove joint, select our node A and our node B. Now, when we press play, the node B will drop down as far as it can go, which is this bottom right here. And then it will stop. So if we press play, you see, it stops right there. And we can lock the rotation too by going lock rotation. And you'll see that it'll drop down. Anyways, guys, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you.